Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Quilt Lady. It's Tuesday at 7. Uh, we're back with you today and, or this evening. I'm going to got a couple things to show you tonight. Uh, trying to get ready for some vacation. Hey, Debbie, how are you? Debbie's been coming in and Joan. Hey, Joan. Uh, we all shared your cookies. They were very good. So, <laughs> uh, and Kathy Z. Hey, everybody. Miss seeing Kathy. Hadn't seen her. Hadn't seen you in a while. And Danette. Hi, Danette. Oh, look at her picture. That looks nice. I'd like to be on the beach. Well, maybe not. Yeah. It's so hot. Yeah. It's been so hot right now. I need the mountains. Oh, hey, Janice. Janice came in today. Oh, girls, you're going to love it. She's doing the fish quilt and uh, working on a new sample to show you. And I think we may have to do this one as a block of the month. We may have to do it as a block of the month. Let everybody get one, do it, and and be able to catch up and do it uh, one a month. But, oh, y'all, it is so nice. And her husband, Dick, he loves it. Hey, Kathy. Miss Kathy. I see Kathy and Linda on Saturdays. That's usually when they come in. When Kathy comes to visit her daddy here in Kingfisher. <laughs> so, and Marilyn, hey, how are you? I love seeing all you girls out there. I wish I wish you could all come here and we could just have a nice big old quilt party. So, and Cora, hey Cora, you know, Cora's at uh, some of them. Our if they're church. not sitting around on their jammies, we could put them on screen. Oh, Bill says if you're not sitting around on your jammies, we could put you on screen. Hey Becky, Becky's watching. She always has a picture of her cows. They live on a big farm down in Texas. So uh, yeah, she's always got her cows with her. So, and Cheryl, hey, oh, look at her picture. Get the little flowers on the baby's head. That's all. It's, oh, Sybil. Hey, Sil, Sybil from Henrietta. That's awesome. Very good. We've had lots of people from all over the state and all, all actually Texas, Kansas. We've had California since we've done Shop Hop. We've had, hey, Pat, um, had people from everywhere. So it's been nice because we've got to see a uh, little bit of everybody. So, but we really like it when you come in so we can uh, get to see you, get to know you. So anyways, uh, if you guys will share, hit the share button and share this uh, on your screen, then for every share that you do uh, keep keep the shares going and uh, then after tomorrow night Whitney will send out invoices so this is from 7 p.m. tonight through 7 p.m. on Wednesday so if you watch it anytime between now and then you can still put down that you want uh, whatever we're selling with the mine oh thanks Becky this is my new studio <laughs> You can put down uh, what you want and then you'll be invoiced tomorrow night. Okay. And uh, after that, you'll be put into the wheel and it will be, Whitney will spin it yeah. and put it out there to, oh no, I've got them at home. Darn it. I forgot to bring them back. Anyways, you'll be put in the wheel and then um, you'll, we'll spin it and see who wins. So a dollar per share. So you girls get to share and so we can uh, get you in and, Everybody can get some free money. So, uh, yeah, if you guys have been on vacation this summer, let us know where you've been um, and stuff. We get to go on Friday. Hallelujah. I'm ready. It's so hot here, you guys. And uh, I like the beach, but I'm going to the mountains where it's cool. I like the mountains and the water and the streams and all that. Eureka Springs. Oh, next week. That would be good. I love Eureka Springs, one of my favorite places. Used to go there every year. Elaine just got back from New Mexico. Was it hot? Was it hot in New Mexico? Where, where'd you go in New Mexico? Tell us where you went. So anyways, but we, we like to go to Colorado. So we've done that kind of uh, for the last several years, four, five, six years, we've done Colorado. But I'm about ready to go back cruising and do some of the other fun things, but not yet. I don't think I'm quite ready to go back yet with the COVID thing still. So I don't think I want to be stuck on a ship anywhere with. Karen, uh, Karen says she's been to Kingfisher on vacation. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, Karen's been to Kingfisher, y'all. She came to see us, my sister-in-law. <laughs> so, okay, well, 
Um, what else do we need to talk about? Are we ready to see today's lineup? Yeah, I think so. So just to say before this, when I had ordered shirts, and I think I told you guys this, um, when I had ordered shirts, I always find the cute little uh, quilt sayings and stuff on the shirts. And I love those. And when I started ordering online, I got, oh, I don't know, four or five of them. But I didn't get them all at once. The label was like $27 and $28 a piece. So really expensive to get all the different colors on your shirts. So we have started doing shirts, as most of you probably know that have been in. And they have been a huge, huge hit. Okay. So we've got some designs that we have been selling for the last, what, probably two or three weeks. And we've almost sold out of them. So what's left, I'm going to give you tonight uh, on the shirts. And then what's left is left. When they're gone, they're gone. Okay. So we will be getting in new designs uh, probably, what, in a week, two weeks? I know, I have to ask Whitney about that. We'll have them ho hopefully for the next show. And saying that, guys, next week, I'll be gone. So when we're up in the mountains, uh, I would I would film from up there, but I have no internet in the mountains. Doesn't work way up there high. So uh, anyway, so next week, you guys get a break, and you guys can go enjoy doing something, and, I, and I'll see you the, preview, the next week, okay? So... All right, well, let's get started, and we're not going to start with t-shirts. We're going to start with puzzles. So if you're like me, I love puzzles, and I think that's part of the quilter in us because we like to do, we like to put things together, right? We like to piece things together. So these puzzles, um, we have anywhere from 300, 500, 1,000 piece puzzles, and a lot of people will uh, modge podge them when they get done, put them in a frame or hang them on the wall or you can put them back in the box and start again uh, later. So anyways, I love doing puzzles and I know a lot of you all do too, because we sell a lot of puzzles too. So we just got these in uh, yesterday, today, yesterday and stuff. So, cause we've kind of been out. So we're, we're starting with the puzzles again. So I thought, well, I'd show you instead of unboxing today, I thought, well, I'll show them, put them on the live tonight and let y'all look. Okay. So our first one uh, is the cow puzzle. And I think uh, Whitney's picture is probably way better than mine because mine's got the um, cellophane on the top. So this is a 300 piece jigsaw puzzle and it ends up being 18 by 24, 18 by 24. But this has got the barn in the background with the tractor sticking out. And uh, then this, this little barn's got birds sitting up. It's got the cow and the chickens and the roosters and, and of course quilts all hanging on the fence, right? Got a ha has a kitty cat and some little bluebirds and stuff. So really cute, uh, really cute puzzle. And it wouldn't take long to do. You could have the grandkids help you with this or the kids. It's uh, just 300 piece, 300 piece. Okay. So it's going to be $13.99. And uh, you would comment mine cow, mine cow. Huh? Bill says moo. <laughs> okay, then this one, if you've all been to Amish country, uh, give us a thumbs up or say, you know, where you've been. We, we love Amish country. We went up to Holmes County, Ohio. Bill spoke at, um, he does polygraphs. And so he spoke at a polygraph convention uh, up in Ohio. And so we went up there a couple different years and, and uh, stuff. And I love Holmes County. So, uh, this one is an Amish uh, quilt or an Amish quilt puzzle, and it's got them hanging them out on the line and got the, of course, the chickens and all the flowers and, and their home. So I love this one too. It's very colorful, got the star quilts and stuff. So this puzzle is a 500 piece, okay, 500 piece. So those are still pretty easy. Again, 18 by 24 size, and it's mine backyard mine backyard okay i love that if it would just stay that cool if i had those big trees everywhere that'd be nice okay next one this one the red barn all right and the red barn this one's a thousand piece y'all thousand piece and uh it's wildflower uh, boutique red barn 
So, you know, what's popular is the barn quilts, right? That you, that you put on the side of the barns. Oops, let me scoot over so you can see me. So it's the barn quilts that you put on the barn. And uh, this one looks like it's the entire side of the barn, and uh, which would be great for me. The, the more quilts on there, the better, right? Um, anyways, thousand piece. This is nineteen ninety nine, and it's mine barn, mine barn, the old red barn. So I love that. That looks like a lot of our countryside is the uh, barns that have been very weathered. Okay, let's see what's next. Okay, so this one is an autumn puzzle, which autumn's coming, y'all. It's it's hot right now, but it will be here. By the time you get this puzzle done, maybe you can have it ready for autumn, okay? So this one is a 500-piece, 500 500-piece 500 puzzle, and it's $13.99. Again, 18 by, I think most of these are 18 by 24. And this one's mine autumn. And it's got the big sunflowers, got the scarecrow in the background. I don't know if you can see that scarecrow better on mine and uh got the sunflowers it's got the dog laying out by the uh or under the under the quilts under the clothesline and stuff and it's got pumpkins in the patch and stuff so it's all all ready for your um your thanksgiving and and halloween stuff so anyways autumn mine autumn 13.99 pardon Oh, it's behind me. Oh, look at that. Y'all are so good. So here, I can move. Let you see the big piece. There. Well, yeah. Even, yeah, even. that looks good. So this is, so if you guys understand the green screen, so we we bought a green screen. Whitney and Bill came with, and Clint came up with all this. And so like the newscasters have that show you, I don't know. They don't look at anything and they look at this green screen. So, or look at a monitor. So that's what I'm doing. They're superimposing all these pictures behind me. So nothing that I do because it's all, all computer stuff. So anyways, that one is mine autumn, mine autumn. Okay. Next one, spools and bolts. Okay. This looks like my shop but maybe a little neater. Okay. Uh, this one has got the, um, here, let me move, Whitney, and then that will, that will help. You can see the, the puzzle there. This one's got the light fixture, the chandelier at the top, and then I don't know if you can see the quilts are hanging from the rafters. See them hanging from the rafters? Whoops, go that way. And then um, they've got the sewing machine and then all the bolts and stuff on the side. So this one's a thousand piece puzzle called spools, spools and Bolts, and it looks just like a very neat and tidy uh, quilt shop. So that would probably not be ours. We have, <laughs> ours is tidy, but we have so many that we are stuffed in here, okay? So let me scoot my chair to this side, and I will, I don't know if I can sit with them still seeing. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. So that one is a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle and the spools and bolts and Whitney put that back up what they, what they will put. Mine, what? Mine spools, y'all. Mine spools and it's $18.99. You want to carry those over, Bill, please? Okay. So here's the next. I can't decide what I'm going to do with this chair, you guys. <laughs> I'm all over the place. Okay. So this next one, I love this one because I love anything that uh, looks old. And this barn looks very old and it looks like they've had a quilt barn, you know, painted on it at a time, had sales, got a little. Uh... Oh, Debbie's on. Hey, Debbie. She's my cousin, you guys. You got to applaud her. She owns a um, tag agency in Edmond. And if you guys know of any tag agencies and all the stuff trying to get your license, they are covered up with uh, trying to have two minutes to their name. So I'm so glad you got to join us. <laughs> so that's Debbie, my cousin. Okay. And she's in Edmond. Okay. So this one is called... Uh, 
stopping at the quilt barn and it's got the old white picket fence of course with your quilts hanging on it the amish buggy out front and then barns on the hillsides and then it's got crops grown up at, at the top and another uh, uh, Amish buggy with some cattle and stuff in the field. So anyway, and then here's got a little girl pulling a wagon with another little one in it. So, and you can see inside the barn door, this one's a little bit closer. You can see inside that barn, whoops, yeah, you can't really see it. Inside the barn door is more quilts hanging. So uh, I, I would go, I'd go shop at that shop. So anyway, this one's Mine Stop. Mine stop and it's $18.99. Okay. So Deb, I hadn't got to talk to you, but I'm so glad you had two minutes that you could get on and, and see everybody because I know you've been covered up with uh, all the licenses. I tried to get mine, y'all, and there's just, <laughs> I of course, I waited till the end of April to get it, and then that wasn't the thing to do. So anyways. Okay, so the next one, this is like an old stair banister going up and has quilts all along the banister and then also uh, all along the wall up at the top, okay? And there's bolts of fabric and then inside the room uh, that you see the lady sitting around the quilt uh, frame quilting and it says memories are stitched with love. So I don't know, uh, Whitney's picture is probably just as good but that's um whoops this way i still got to get used to this camera there we go okay so this one is a thousand piece y'all a thousand piece jigsaw okay and this one's 20 by 27 so a, a bigger okay 20 by 27. all righty okay the next one now, I have one of these old machines. If you have an old machine like this, give me some hearts or give me some thumbs up or something because uh, uh, I, I've got a couple of these. Uh, no, I have one. I have one. I had one in the window that was Cheryl's. Okay, that's Belle or my little one's Belle. So uh, this one has got the cats sitting around, which a lot of quilters have cats. And it's got the old Singer sewing machine uh, in the cabinet that's all very scrolled work if you found something like that now it would probably cost you a fortune and outside you see the uh, barn and everything so she's making up her quilt you guys uh this one's 1999 and it's a 300 whoops no that's not right sewing room this one is a thousand piece yeah. thousand piece puzzle okay so let's go this way thousand piece puzzle Oop, there we go so this one's a thousand piece so it'll take a little bit longer than a 300 okay and this one makes 20 by 27, 20 by 27, okay? And that's mine room, mine room. So we've had, we've sold so many puzzles, so we decided just to order, because we was having trouble getting them from some of the places, you know, they've had trouble shipping and, and this and that and, and labor, of course. And so we just went directly to the people that made the puzzles and ordered a bunch. And uh, so we'll have them for you guys, because we had, pretty much sold out so anyways okay so this one is handmade quilts and this one's called mine homemade or handmade sorry mine handmade and it's $18.99 this is also a thousand piece puzzle and I love this one because it's the produce stand so how many of y'all have farmers markets uh, in the summer so this has got the farmers market out there the fresh produce handmade quilts got quilts all along the fences all the way up to the house and on the uh, railing of the house so the porch rails so this one's got your fresh uh, fresh vegetables and fresh uh, fruits on it in the stand and then it's got all the quilts so very pretty i love this one and this one is 20 by 27. Again, $18.99, and it's mine handmade. Mine handmade. Okay. I'm going to get to the shirts, y'all. Just give me just a minute. We're, we're about done. Okay. This one is uh, says holiday quilts for sale. And again, whitewashed on the barn, which I love that look. And this one's got uh, quilts all around, all over the barn. It's got a, a red bird, a cardinal. It's got the Christmas trees, the snowflakes. Lots of Christmas, uh, different kinds of trees, all pieced differently. Uh, there's snowmen. There's one that says joy. 
there's one that's got love and there's Christmas gifts. So this one's really cute. It's got uh, Christmas lights hanging off the barn and has the house got snow drifts and or icicles hanging off that. So another really cute, got a little deer out there too. So this one's a thousand piece, thousand piece, and it finishes 20 by 27. And this one's $18.99 and it's mine holiday, mine holiday. Okay. Okay. This one, another produce stand. Okay. So I must have really liked the produce stands. Of course, that's kind of this time of year, right? Uh, with the pumpkins and all the fresh, uh, fresh veggies. So this one's a really old rustic barn and even the, even the top of it, the roof and got the old wagon out front with the produce and that. Of course, the chickens and the birds are hanging around and quilts hanging off the barn and quilts hanging off the canopy of the, of the uh, fruit stand. So this one uh, is a thousand piece and it finishes 20 by 27 and it's mine produce, mine produce. Okay. $18.99. Okay. Got that. Is that one in my lineup too or is that one done? Oh, we've already done it. Okay. All right. So here's one that uh, if you're used to the Amish buggies, like I said, we've been to uh, Ohio to uh, the Amish, Amish, uh, Holmes County to that county. Hey, Lorraine, how are you? Oh, you got on. Good. Well, you might have to back up to go see the puzzles that we started with, but be sure and share and that gets you in the drawing. Okay. Be sure and share. We went to too. Oh yeah. We went to Pennsylvania to Amish country up there too. Yeah. I forgot about that. So we stopped by, I have a little story. We stopped by this house that had the kids, the kids and the dad were all outside. Kids were playing and the dad was out in the horse pen and, uh, so we stopped and I said, by chance, do y'all happen to sell quilts? Because I wanted a real handmade Amish quilt, right? And they said, yeah, we do. So they took us into the house and we went upstairs and they almost had a bed turning. So a bed turning, if you're not familiar, they had a big queen size bed upstairs and they had, oh, probably 30 quilts on this bed. And they just would show you one, pull it off, show you the next, pull it off. So that's a bed turning. So a lot of times the quilt shows will do bed turnings and show you different, different quilts. And um, so speaking of that, we've got a quilt show in Colorado, um, September the 18th. I think it's the 17th and 18th, 17th and 18th, I believe. And that's in Creed, Colorado, and there will be a bed turning. There's there's usually a bed turning up there. So it's a very, very good um, quilt show. It's in the side. They've blown out the side insides of a mountain. You've got like big tunnels. It's very cool. And uh, we go in there. So if you're if you're interested in that, I have tickets. We're doing a raffle quilt. I think it's the papers right up here on this on this steel bill right there. So. While, while I'm stopped on that, I'll just show you this. So this is the raffle quilt. I don't know if you can see it very well. See, it's it doesn't show it very big there, but it is a very big quilt. Okay. Okay. So it's a uh, dollar a piece or six for five. And I do have raffle tickets here at the shop if you are interested. So this is a biannual quilt show. Again, it's uh, September... 17th through 19th at Creed. Okay. Admission is $4, but it's, it's well worth if you want to take a trip and go up there. It's well just quilts. So not a whole lot of vendors, but beautiful quilts. Okay. Okay. So back to, back to the sale. <laughs> I get, I get sidetracked y'all. Okay. So this one, uh, that's got the Amish buggy on it and it's got a little sign down here that says quilts. And then there's quilts all along the fence. There's birds. There's one with a cat. There's uh, chickens and then a birdhouse with bird and a, a wooden bench that's got a quilt hanging on it. And then on the barn itself, it's got a cat quilt ones that's got several barns on it and then it's got a big barn quilt at the top of a star so very cute and this is a thousand piece and it's 20 by 27. this one is too all right 
So that is mine sale, mine sale. Do what? Oh, okay. So Bill's got it behind me. Let me move out of the way. You can't see and, the whole thing. Okay, so you can't see the whole thing, but this is the center of the quilt that uh, I'm selling raffles on. So if you guys can imagine, it's not a simple piecing job. Okay, see all the points in there? Don't you love that? So uh, the girls that I did not get in on this one to, to help piece, but the girls did a great job on this and it's beautiful. So if you want some of those uh, tickets, if you'll holler and let me know where you can put it on the deal, I have to take check or cash for those. I can't take it on credit card because I can't run that through the shop since that's for um, the, the guild up there. Okay. And then I'll show you in the next couple of weeks. Oh, I know, Sybil. I love the bed turnings too, to see all the beautiful work and I don't know, and a whole bunch of them all together. I love that. Um, so I, here probably next week or the next we also have a quilt that we are raffling in the enid guild and they i have tickets for them also and <laughs> becky says when are we coming down and so i have and i'll put the uh quilt up that we have in the enid guild i'll put it up on try to get it on the next thing and so i also have tickets for that so have lots of raffles if you guys are interested of course we would love to have for a dollar ticket, a whole big old quilt, right? So, okay. So if you want that, shoot me a, shoot me a, a message or something that you want some raffles, okay? Okay. Again, back to the show. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. So this one, oh, Janice, you want some? Okay. I got raffles for both. I'll show them to you when you come in. So, okay, so this is a fast, a thousand piece uh, puzzle. And again, 20 by 27. And this is a little bit of heaven. Okay, this would be a little bit of heaven for me because it's out on the farm, got beautiful flowers, got quilts everywhere and an old red truck. Now how good, can, and it's got mountains behind you. So it has to be cool, right? We would hope. So this one's got quilts for sale and, uh, we it's got the let's see this one's got leaves on it and one has flowers one has sailboats and one has bluebirds so love that one this one's mine heaven mine heaven and it's 18.99 so when we went to that amish uh homestead and and got to go in to see the bed turning i did buy a quilt and it was the double rubik's cube so all black with the bright colors of a Rubik's cube and beautifully pieced, all hand pieced, hand quilted and stuff. So I won't tell you what I paid for it. It was high. <laughs> so anyways, but it, it was beautiful. Thought they had to pay for their fabric and all their time. Right. So uh, it was, it was gorgeous and I still have that quilt. So they're all, they mean a lot to me. So. It was that was my uh, memento from our trip. So uh, no, no little junky thing for me <laughs> to have a quilt. OK, so uh, let's see. Let's go to the next. Let's go to the next puzzle, Whitney. I think we got that one. Mine heaven. OK, this is the last puzzle that we have. And this one's the quilt fair puzzle. So if you guys remember, like I do, the the fairs years ago everybody we was all in clubs and we all made i mean we canned and we quilted and we sewed and we made craft projects and did all kinds of stuff and the fairgrounds was just full well now the fair's not that full so we need to get we need to get people back into doing some of these things so let let's just see everybody's handiwork i don't know if they're just not putting stuff in or uh not interested in the fair i don't know i love going to the fair and seeing everybody's handiwork it gives me good ideas it's inspiring so this one is the quilt fair puzzle a thousand piece uh this one's 20 by 27 also and it's got the uh, the little blue cart in here is actually called a goat cart. And how I know that is Bill made me one one year. Wayne Hassenfratz and him got together and 
made me this little uh, goat cart that sat out on the front porch and I love it. There's a church bench in there that has a big teddy bear that's quilted, um, lots of pillows, lots of wall hangings and table runners and stuff. So very cute, uh, very cute puzzle. And uh, again, a thousand piece and it's 20 by 27. So it's $18.99 and it's mine fair. And if you guys uh, have stuff, you need to enter, enter it in your local fair, in your county fair. I think that's awesome to have people, um, I don't know, the more stuff that you've got in there, uh, the better it is. And I try to always encourage the kids to put stuff in. You know, they can, they almost anything that they make through the year, they can put in the fair and they can bake cookies or pies or whatever, but they can do three cookies and put it in and uh, just makes your fair better, you know. So, okay, so that's the end of the puzzles. So if you guys like puzzles like I do, get your puzzles. We have one each of each of these right now. Uh, like I said, we can probably order more, but right now you never know what you can get. So whoever's the first on there gets the puzzle. And if you want it, put it down and we'll try to get, uh, get it. But right now we just have one, okay? And it's going to be the same on the t-shirts. We have done crazy sales on these t-shirts because I think that because like I said when I bought mine online it was $27, $28 something like that and then I had to pay shipping and these are they start at $15.99 so that's a really good deal and one thing I forgot to mention last time when I said we was going to start carrying these is this is not the typical cheap unisex t-shirt okay so this is the Bella canvas and if you're familiar with Bella canvas let's see if I can get the tag up there the Bella canvas um, line it's very very soft so we went with a better quality shirt for y'all so I, I just think you'd like it better and the one thing about um, these shirts is like if you're doing a uh, unisex shirt, sometimes the sleeves that will hang, you know, down here and then the end of the sleeves are down past my elbow. OK, well, these they fit correctly. So your sleeve, your shoulder seams are at your shoulder. Your sleeves are normal. And so they're made for women. OK, so if, you, if you're a man and want this, I don't know that it's going to fit you very good, but they do fit the women really well. So we have, um, we started with mediums, right? We have a few mediums, but mostly large through 5X, girls, 5X. Because usually you can't find bigger sizes, and I just decided I was going to do them for everybody. So um, the, the prices are $15.99 through, let's see, through extra large. So medium to extra large are $15.99. Two X's are $17.99, and then three X are $18.99, and then $19.99, $20.99. So it just goes up a dollar from for each size. So um, anyway, so people that have come in, uh, I have Joyce Gunder and Te Terry. <laughs> they come in and they say, I've got to have one for every day of retreat. So <laughs> they was buying them up, and we've had everybody do that, though. Very few just get one. So they are very, they are very soft and comfortable, y'all. And they say the cutest thing. So uh, we're going to show you, I guess, do we have, do we have this up on the green screen or do I need to hold these up and show them? Okay. I'll just hold these up and, and show you guys. So, oh, Terry says she wants two more. I didn't know you was on, Terry. Yeah, I'm talking about you. <laughs> Oh, because if you hold them up, they'll okay, let's turn the background off and yeah, let's, green. yeah, I want to show these to you with the green screen up. I don't know that the green will show up on this girls, but um, it's yeah, it's not a very good background and it's wrinkled. So <laughs> I work at a quilt shop, you know, <laughs> irons, who said irons? Um, okay. So let me tell you, we started off with black and blue shirts. So we had, uh, I'll show you the blue in a minute. And then we had just plain black. Now, some of the blacks to get the right size, we had to go to a heathery black, which is still pretty black, not just stark black, but it's it still looks good. Then uh, when Terry and Joyce come in, they wanted purple. 
I thought, oh, well, purple would be a, a good choice. So we have purple. And so this is going to be our purple shirt. And then we got a gray. They also suggested gray. So I got, I got their suggestions, the purple and gray. So now we have gray, black, blue, and purple. Okay. So now let me just say something real quick. I'm going to show you these and I'm going to show you the different designs. We only have very few quantities of these left. So the first one on the deal to pictures that you're going to get it. Okay. Um, we have one of most of these, two of some, and then I don't know, I think our five X's, we still have shirts, right? Don't we have shirts left? I think we have a few shirts left, but as far as designs go, these are probably going to be it. Okay. So saying that, this one says, I suffer from MPD, multiple project disorder. Okay. That's all of us because, well, most everybody that I know. Oh, there you go. Whitney's got a good one. Okay. So most of us suffer from this because we do more than one thing at a time, right? Okay. So can you move that camera up a little bit? And you can see this better, I think. I think you'll be able to see Whitney's picture fine. Okay. Hang on, girls. There. Okay. There we go. Okay. So this is MPD. So this is one of the designs. Okay. So again, we have purple. And this is the back of the shirt, y'all. You have my little quilt lady on the back. Okay. So this is the purple. This is the blue. Oh, Whitney's got them. Okay. So that's better. She's got a better picture. Okay. So we've got gray, blue, purple, and um, black. Okay. So price prices do vary by the size. Okay. So um, each of these this is the multiple project disorder. So this is the MPD. So if you want this shirt, then you're going to put mine MPD and then uh, oh. what color of shirt and then what size. Okay. So the MPDs. Yeah, let's see. First come, first yeah, it's first come, first serve. So gray, we have no large. The... Um, yeah, I hate to go through this. So if you guys want them, put it down because we pretty much have at least one of every color and um, pretty much every size. Some of the sizes of shirts we've ran out of. So I know like the blue, we don't have any large left. I think we don't think we have any blue large left. Everything we've got is uh, to, as far as two print. So we've got larges that are made up. Okay. Did I just totally confuse you there? Sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. So that's the MPD. So she showed you the MPD. That's the multiple project disorder, right? So I don't know that we'll be getting these back in anytime. Um, we're, we're going on to a new, new shirts. Okay. Once on each one. Okay. So let me, uh, let me read through these like Whitney's show says. So on the MPD, this is what we're going to go back to the MPD real quick. So in the large, we have a, a two blacks in the purple. We have one um, in the extra large, no blue, uh, extra large. We have one black, one purple, one, gr one gray. The two X's, we have one blue, one black, two purple, one gray. The three X's, we have a blue, two blacks, and a gray. Okay, that's the MPD. MPD, okay. Uh, and then let's see, the four X, we have one blue, one black, and one gray. And then the five X, we have, well, I don't have any made up, but I think I've got three of these patterns left that I can put on 5X shirts. So if you want a certain size, I can do, I've got three patterns left. And once those three are gone, then they're gone. Okay. So if you want the MPD, then put, put that on. Okay. Okay. So then the next one, let me show the next one, Whitney. It's the, uh, I love this one. This is me in my dream world. Okay. Dream world. Fabric is free and quilting makes you thin. So 
I dream a lot, you guys. Fabric's free. I love it. And quilting makes you thin. I need that. <laughs> right? I want to be the size I was in high school. Okay? That would be an, an amazing thing. So, um, okay. So, the quilting makes you thin. I'll read through these again. Large. We have one black, one purple, two grays. We have extra large, no blue. We don't have blue in anything extra large, okay? So extra large black, we have one. Purple, we have one. Gray, we have two. 2X, two we have one blue, one black, one purple, one gray. 3X, we have one blue, one black, two grays. And 4X, we have a one blue, one black, one gray, okay? We was having trouble getting purple in in the larger sizes in shirts, so we didn't have any of those. Okay, and then 5X again, we can make whatever whatever you need. Yeah, okay. So then that's all of the uh, quilting makes you thin, okay? So that, that's the sizes that we have. All right, then the third one, this is the last one. We just have these three designs right now, and I love this one. Have you ever heard of the quilter that had too much fabric? No, me neither. We never have too much. We always, we never have the right thing, right? So uh, I love this one. Me neither. <laughs> okay, so this one we have, um, okay, large, we have one blue, one black, two purple, and one gray. Extra large, we have two black, one purple, one gray, 2X, we have one blue, one black, one purple, and one gray. 3X, we have two blue, one black, and one gray. And 4X, we have a blue, one blue, one black, one gray. Okay? And then if you want a 5X, we can make that up. Okay? So, saying that, that's the, that's the shirts that we have left, okay? We will be getting more shirts in. We've got shirts. We're getting more designs in. Uh, we picked some really good ones, and I don't know if Whitney's, I don't know if we've got those out there yet. Uh, probably be here next week uh, while we're gone, so <laughs> I'll have it for the next show when we, when we come back on and uh, let you know what we have, okay? So, but if you want a certain size shirt that you're, that you're looking for, then let us know and I'll try to save those back. So we've got, we make sure. So again, Whitney, can you put up the different colors? We've got the purple, we've got the blue. Yeah, there we go. Purple, blue, gray, and then we have the black. Whoops, let me get the black down here. So this is the black one, okay? Okay, so we've got these four colors. So if you guys are going to, like a lot of the girls uh, want to go and have their girlfriends all match and wear the same ones. So if you're going to do that, then put down, you know, what, what you want, what design you want, and what size shirts. So if there's a group of six of you, then I would say, um, you know, you want one XL, two, two X's, two three X's and a four X or whatever, and then do, um, you know, I want the MPD. Okay. And uh, then we can mail those, mail those out. And if you guys are going to pick them up, then you need to put PU at it. Okay. Or just put in pick up. So Whitney knows not to charge you shipping. Okay. So if you do want to pick them up, let us know. And we, as soon as the invoices are paid, we'll put those back into a bag and have them for you. Okay. All right. What else do we have? Anybody have any questions? Was that a total mishmash of all kinds of stuff with uh, with all the different shirt designs and stuff? Kind of crazy, huh? Okay. Uh, they do not have V-necks. I have you move that camera down a little bit. Oh, there we go. Okay, Carmen, they don't have V-necks. We don't have V-necks. We could probably get them, but we had to have so many of each size. Oh, it looks like I'm doing, it looks like I'm doing exercises and I'm not doing anything. Up and down, up and down. <laughs> okay, that's good, Bill. He's playing with the camera, y'all. <laughs> okay, so. Um, with the price, the price increased quite a bit on those. So 
if you're if everybody's interested in v-necks the next time i order i can get those but write it out. Hey, I want V-necks. I want V-necks in this size and this color. So I have an idea of what I need to order. Okay. If I have enough people that say, yeah, I want them. I don't mind ordering, but I have to order like 30, 50 shirts, I think at a time. And then um, same with the designs, 50, 50 at a time. Okay. So, okay. So the V-necks will probably be about three bucks more. Okay. So they're probably about $3 more something like that. Anyway, so if you're willing to do that, which like I said, I paid $27, $28 for mine plus shipping. So uh, I I have some high dollar, high dollar t-shirts at home, but these are, I'm fixing to go on a retreat. I wanted to go with Terry and, and uh, um, Joyce, but it, it's the same time as my, uh, play, my quilt show up in tech in uh, Colorado. My words are all mumbled y'all. And uh, so I didn't get to go, but then I found a retreat. They had me all pumped up about this retreat. So I found another one that I'm going to get to go with uh, Melanie and Elaine and, and Mel's mom. So anyways, we're going to get to go. I'm going to get to go on one. So guess what I'm going to be wearing, you guys? I'm going to be sporting nice T-shirts <laughs> every day, probably. So, um Okay, again, that's all we have for you tonight is just puzzles and t-shirts because that's that's what we got in today, okay? And uh, Bill and I worked till about one o'clock in the morning on these t-shirts trying to get the rest of them made up. So uh, we'll do that. And then, uh, as you know, we sell AccuQuilt. If you guys are interested in AccuQuilt or want to see how that works, Becky is uh, our gal that does the, the AccuQuilt. And she's very good at it. You guys, you can come in and she can give you sample. Any of us can, but Becky is really, really good at it. So uh, we can show you anything about the AccuQuilt. Also, Bill does machine repair or machine cleaning. And of course, I do long arming and uh, oh, scissor sharpening. That's our new that's our new thing. Bill bought a really nice big stone wheels and all this. I don't know, big set of stuff. And uh, so he is sharpening scissors and they are nice. I love it. Even the, even the cheapo scissors I had from uh, my high school days, they are even sharp. So <laughs> anyway, so if you have those, you can bring those in and we can sharpen those for you too. Okay. Again, I'm not going to be here next week. So you guys have a pass to, uh, next week and um, we will see you. We'll be back then the following week. Okay. Um, yeah, vacation. I'm going to go to the mountains, y'all, where it's cool. This heat's killing me. <laughs> I'm not much of a heat person. I like it like in the 60s. And um, Cheyenne that works here, she likes it in the like 80s and 90s. Um, the blocks of the month, I don't have any right now. I think when Janice gets done with this uh, fishing quilt, we'll do a block of the month with that, Cheryl. And then also we've got ordered... Oh, I do. I do. Okay. So that's okay. Let me back up. So we do have some blocks. We have Underground Railroad. We just finished that in February and we are, we had started that again last month. So if you want to do Underground Railroad, that is that every block is different. And then at the bottom, the last block tells the story of the slaves and how when the quilt hung, outside the house on the porch rail, how, which way to go, which way was safe, who was a safe home. So every block or every quilt had meaning. So there's a block from each quilt to show you what the Underground Railroad is all about. <clears throat> so can't take that out of our history. That was a true fact. So anyways, we have those and that's at Quilt Kits and More. Okay, quilt kits and more. That's our uh, another online thing that we have. So we have quilt kits and more. We're fixing to come out with a new one and I'll save that for a later time. Uh, it'll be a surprise. And um, new website. yeah, new website. Yeah, sorry. I just assume y'all know what I'm talking about. So quilt kits and more, and that'll have the underground. Then when Janice gets this fishing one done, we'll probably do that as, as a block of the month. And then I've got uh, Lori Holt's chicken 
that's coming out. And I just ordered that through the sales rep. So as soon as that gets off the press, we're supposed to have that. And so we'll be doing Lori Holt's chicken quilt block of the month. And then I've ordered two more and they're pieced deal. So we'll have lots of different blocks of the month. We won't start them all the very same month. We don't want to overwhelm you. So I know a lot of people like to do two or three. And so we'll, we'll show those as we get them and uh, let you guys get in on that. Okay. So any other questions while we're out there? I wish I could see all you guys, you know, all your happy faces. So anybody else have questions about anything going on? Shop Hop's going to be over the 31st. 31st. So Saturday's the last day of shop hop. If you haven't, have if you haven't, uh, if you haven't gotten through, then be sure if you've got to any of the shops or if you're done through the shops, you need to turn in your passport at the last shop that you have been to. And you have no later than Saturday. Okay. So Saturday's the last day. We have to take our uh, passes that are turned in with us and uh, mail them in. And then we have a meeting, I believe, on the 12th. Uh, I think it's the, or the 16th. I think it's the 16th. And that's when, yeah, it's the 16th. And then we will draw. So you guys will know if you won all the big prizes. So we was very good. Our vendors were very good to give us uh, prizes and stuff to give out. So you'll know more about the shop hop. Underground Railroad. Underground Railroad. Uh, can you look? Underground. Okay. On the Underground Railroad block of the month. Okay. So we have a question about that. So it's for eight months. I can tell you that. He's looking up the price. It's for eight months and you get two blocks a month. Okay. So two blocks a month. It's a 16 block uh, quilt. And then at the very end, uh, we, we sold finishing kits. Okay. And I'm not sure what the finishing kits were on that either, but it had all your sashing, your cornerstones, the borders and the binding. Okay. In the finishing. So look that up for the blocks and the, if you just put in BOM for the block of the month. It, okay. Then it, it should, it should tell us, but what you do is you go to quilt kits and more. And when you sign up, sign up that you want underground railroad and then it will put on there if you want it mailed out to you or if you're going to come in and pick it up okay so some of them have you know your postage on there 25, so 25.99 25, 25, that's the sign up fee no, okay no. so that's no, 25.99 okay a month and you plus a 24.99 sign up fee. okay so 25.99 a month and it's 24.99 for the sign up fee and that includes your book and everything to get the first one will be get that one. Hang on. So and we have the rulers. There's a couple rulers that you'll need through it. Two small ones. Fifty dollars and ninety-eight cents for the first month only. First month only. Okay. And that gets you the book and um, all the stuff that you're going to need to, to go with it. Okay. Eight months long and it's two, um, two blocks per month. The only other thing is there's two rulers. They're the flying geese rulers from Eleanor Burns and you'll have to have these two along with it throughout the process. Okay. But it's really pretty. I'll try to have mine out. I've got mine hanging in the back and I'll try to have it down and uh, show you guys in two weeks when we come back. I'll try to have that and showed. Okay. And then as soon as I get the Lori Holt chickens, you guys are going to love it. If you love chickens, it's, oh, and of course it's got typical Lori Holt fabric. That's really totally her, you know, typically, typically her. And uh, you're going to love it. It's it's really cute. So Becky is, again, our girl that does, she loves the Lori Holt stuff. So as we all do. So, all right. Any other questions? Got any other questions? Hey, have you guys had any kind of neat little things that you take to retreat? So when we go to this retreat, they're telling us to bring some kind of little gift for everybody. So some little trinket of something that we're supposed to make. Anybody got any ideas? If you do. Will you shoot them to me so I can be thinking about what I'm going to make? <laughs> so, um, okay. Again, in the background is the quilt. This is the one at the uh, Creed. It's Silver Threads Quilt Guild. 
and I'm in that one, Silver Threads Quilt Guild, and that's up in Creed, South Fork and Creed together, and the Lake City it includes all that area. So there's not many people that live up there, but in the summer, thousands come up there, you know, for summer. So we're kind of from all over the place, okay? Uh, and the guild gets together. So again, our quilt show is in September. It's the 17th through the 19th, okay? And this is the quilt they're giving away. I believe it's queen size. And that, I think it. I think it's queen size. And is that what's showing through? I think it's this. It's this. It's the puzzles or green screen. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so Quilt Guild up there is uh, selling this, doing raffles on this one. And it's a dollar a piece or six for five. Dollar a piece or six for five. And then um, in two weeks when we come back, I'll have the Enid Guild. And I'll have their, their quilt up. When you put a link to the Underground Railroad on top. Oh, okay. Oh, comments. if you guys look in comments, if you're interested in the Underground Railroad, Whitney put a link and you can just go hit that link and it'll take you straight in there to it. Okay. And uh, we could get that mailed out. We usually mail out, uh, oh, I don't know, the, the things hit the first of the month, and then we usually mail out right right after the first sometime, okay? So it's, it's fun. I love putting it together, and I love the story. The last block has the story of, you know, the flying geese and the sailboat and how you were supposed to wear bow ties so they would know that you was a slave and the, you know, your log cabin that had the black center was a safe house. Lots of history in it and lots of history in this book. So uh, really interesting and stuff. So anyways, okay. I think I've talked your ear off now. So <laughs> I will let you guys go and I'll be on vacation next week. Be sure and share this so you can get in the drawing and, uh, and again, watch for the invoices tomorrow evening. Okay. You guys have a great next two weeks and we will see you when we get back. All right. Bye now.